I'm Darren Ganji and welcome to the reboot of Inside Sim Racing. This show is brought to you by Sim Motion. This channel has sat dormant for almost three years now since John Sable did his last show on January 18, 2018, and I did my farewell show on August 2nd, 2017. Never thought I'd be back, but here I am. For years while I produced the show here on ISR, I'd always dreamed about having a hobby shop where you guys and girls could come and check out all the cool stuff that we had on the show and try it out. So the show now is gonna be a virtual version of that. Eventually, we're gonna have a shop here in Spokane, Washington, where you could come in, check out the gear like I had always dreamed of, and maybe even be here on an episode of Inside Sim Racing. So I am now the CEO and partner in Sim Motion, and I'm really looking forward to showing you what we have to offer. All the hardware that you're gonna see me showcasing here on Inside Sim Racing will be available through our e-commerce site. We carry a wide variety of sim racing gear and I'll be doing product showcases, tutorials or tips on how to get the most out of these products, maybe some interviews and of course some racing related stuff too. I'm totally open to suggestions on what you guys would like to see here on the show and for starters I'm going to be checking out the Sim Magic M10 GT1 and GT4 offerings. I also plan to cover the Husingfeld Sprint pedals a new brand of pedals that we have the exclusive distribution rights called Nuo 4 Cell. We're also a dealer for PT Actuator and I have a rear traction loss platform that I'm gonna put underneath this Track Racer TR160. And speaking of which, I'd like to thank Matt at Track Racer for providing me with the TR160 and I'm gonna be putting this thing through its paces. I'm gonna be throwing all sorts of gear at this thing. Again, starting with that motion platform, rear traction loss. I have a seat mover that attaches right to this. I have four Scorpion Super actuators that I'm gonna set up in a four DOF configuration and whatever else I can think of for the track racer. Something else I'm gonna do along with these videos is I'm gonna point you guys or link to all the guys that do the hardcore reviews like Barry Rowland, Will Ford at Boosted Media, William Marsh at Sim Racing Paddock, Mike at Sim Racing 604 and Sean Cole at the Sim Pit. So if you're in the market for a product that SimMotion carries, I hope that you'll consider us. I'm gonna be the primary contact here in North America for anything support related. If you have any questions regarding any of the products that we carry, you can reach me via Facebook, email, phone. We're also gonna have a Discord channel where you could post messages or contact me through that. And I have links to all of that here in the description of this show. For the North American shop, you can visit us at us.sim-motion.com or for our European shop, sim-motion.com. Eventually, the sites will be merged and you'll just be able to access us through sim-motion.com. And you can find the links to the store here in the description of the show. Before I go, I'd like to thank my partners, Jens Perkot and Thorsten Lingnow for bringing me on board and having the faith in my ability to take care of the US version of this shop. I'd also like to thank the new owner of Inside Sim Racing for allowing me to post these videos here on the channel and reboot Inside Sim Racing. So that's going to wrap things up. Remember, I'm going to have the M10 coming up actually in conjunction with this video as well as another video on how to tune the M10 in iRacing. Thank you for watching. I'm Darren Ganji. I'll see you guys in the next one.